Hey, I'm Kenneth Weidsta. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my weekly photo checks, inspirational photo talks. So today I'm going to talk about a camera. So I've been using a little bit of guesstimate focus and zone focus lately. And this is the Rolly 35. Now the Rolly 35 is a incredible looking steampunkish camera with a flash shoe on the bottom and it, a rewind on the bottom and a advance on the left side of the camera. It's definitely an odd camera. And Rolly made it almost the size of a roll of film. They wanted to see how small they could make it. You can only close the shutter after you advance the film. You can only show, close the lens. The lens opens to an extended position. But you have to advance the film before you can push the lens in because it's the way that they got the shutter out of the way so the lens could retract. And this is a great camera and I really like using it. And I've been doing more with zone focusing where I'll just set the camera at 12 feet and I know if I'm shooting outside at f11 or f8 with a 40 millimeter 3.5 lens, a Tessar lens, I know that everything from about five or six feet to infinity will be in focus. And I like that. I like having that so that sometimes with a rangefinder focus, you are always double checking. And this you can't. This makes you have to trust that zone focusing and guest focusing is going to work. So if I'm going to go out and shoot, if I were shooting the camera, it's only four feet away, five feet away. I could just put this on five feet and shoot and I get that photo. And I can guess that and it just needs to be close enough. It doesn't have to be pinpoint precise because there is some depth of field with this camera if you're not shooting wide open, especially. But this camera, all of the Raleigh's were made for right-eyed users. But I'm left-eyed and it's got a great big viewfinder, but I cannot see out of my right eye while I have it to my eye, unless I shoot a vertical. But I like keeping the other eye open when I shoot and the Raleigh 35 is a great small pocketable camera that works great for zone focus and shooting on the quick. But it doesn't work so great for a left-eyed person. There was another one they put out and it was the LED. Now this is considered a lowly camera. It's got LED lights in it. It's called the Rolly 35 LED. This one was made in Germany. This one was made in Singapore. This one feels like a metal tank. This one feels a lot more plastic and lightweight. But this one has the viewfinder much further over. I can look into the lens. I can look into the viewfinder with my left eye and still see out of this eye. They move the viewfinder. That works good for a person like me who's left eyed because I'm always fighting. They would always design Leicas and Rolleflexes and only SLRs had it in the center, but they'd always, you know, include that viewfinder on the far left edge. And it's a lot easier for left eyed people to have the viewfinder further over. So I've been using this more than that one. And that's because it works better for the way I shoot. This one has a triatar lens, which maybe isn't as good as the sonar in the really high end Raleigh. This one has the Tessar. I think they're all equivalent. I find that the results I get from either of those is about the same. And I'm just looking to photograph street and snapshots. You start to use the, the sonar lens, that ends up being more critical when you're shooting wide open and you want to get corners sharp. And those extra elements in the lens help you get those corners all to be sharp. But if you're shooting at F8 or F11, and you're walking around with this, this is a point and shoot camera at that point. If you set this for 12 feet, anything you point at that's going to be in focus. And for me, if I'm doing street with a black and white film camera, this is the kind of thing I want for quickness and speed to have that ability to just pick it up and point and shoot. And because it has the left eye viewfinder, almost left eye, it's a little bit off, off the center, it, because it has a, a viewfinder that I can use, that makes it much more enjoyable for me to be able to see through it on the quick. 
And actually, I think this has a better viewfinder. This one has a more larger viewfinder. If I look through this, it's a much larger viewfinder. So it's got maybe a higher magnification. This one is lesser, but I can see the whole frame with glasses on this one. So this is the kind of a camera, if you find the Rolly 35B or the B35, they later named it, or if you find the 35 LED, these are good ones to pick up because a lot of people are only looking for that, <coughs> pardon me, are only looking for that Rolly 35 with the Sonar lens made in Germany. They don't want the Singapore ones. If you do find one, look for one that's not dented. This one is in really clean shape and not dented. This one is in really clean shape and not dented. A lot of times you see them, you'll see big dents in them because if you drop them or hit a doorway, the metal bends really easily on these. But they're great little cameras. They're definitely sort of steampunkish. And when you're done with the shoot, you just shut the lens and put it back in a case. The one nice thing about the other Raleigh is this one has shutter speeds on the back of the aperture ring or behind the lens. And this one only has bulb and then 30 to a 500. It doesn't have speeds below a 30th. But I don't typically shoot below a 30th. So that's okay with me for what I'm doing. I'm typically not shooting this inside at night because of a 3.5 lens. But neither is this one any good at night either because this also is a 3.5 Tessar. But definitely between the two, you can feel the heft of this one. There's a little bit more metal and probably better quality me mechanics to how they made it. But both of these cameras I would recommend, definitely look for the ones that are not the one that everybody else is looking for, especially that Raleigh 35 from Germany with the Sonar lens, which I think is a 2.8. But the 3.5 is a good buy and this LED and the B are also good buys and they're ones that you find that people aren't as much looking for and you might get a little bit of a deal. All right, that's today's photography talk, a little Raleigh pocket camera chat. Hey, if you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. If you can support, hit the Patreon. If you can use some swag, there's a hat and a shirt with your name on it that says, here's the good light. I'll be back next week. We'll talk photography. As always, here's the good light.